All right, so I want to show you how a character is born. In this case, uh, Peter Zametti, my publisher, the publisher of Alterna Comics, uh, has put this out. This is cover number five, or no, excuse me, it's it's the cover for issue number six of Downcast, which is insane because uh, I remember to me, like it used to be if I could ever do a six issue run of anything, that would I could die like that. That was it. I have arrived. So it's really crazy that it's here because it's like six issue run is I don't know. It's just it's impressive. It really is for independent comics. But that's like a six issue run in mainstream comics can be a whole trade depending on uh, the publisher. So it's really exciting. Uh, so I'm stoked about that. But I've got this character on the front, Carver, and I wanted to actually show you a few little behind the scenes things that you might not have known about Carver. I'm going to hold on for a moment because I have to explain a little bit of the backstory. So the way that this cover was born, the way that the character was born, uh, in Downcast issue number one, uh, Rise, the villain, spoiler alert, throws, uh, well, he's got like his deadline or cult that follows him and does whatever he wants. And there's a couple, a uh, man and a woman that are in the cult and he lifts up the woman and throws her out the window uh, to her death. And that is how Carver was born. Carver was the poor guy standing next to her who did absolutely nothing as his leader threw his uh, loved one out the window to her death for an ideological reason <clears throat> to make a point for intimidation, like whatever. Uh, and I, that often stuck with me after the book was published because I thought, this guy has got problems now. Like for you to just stand there while that happened, you're going to have issues. Uh, so now there you go. He's got his cover, his face on his own issue. <laughs> um, so yeah, he's a super fun villain. So with that in mind, I want to show you a few things. I emailed nacho the art or our artist on downcast and i said hey for this next story arc i'm gonna have this character named carver <clears throat> actually his name wasn't carver at the time his name was cutter can you imagine this was the first drawing he's got uh this was my drawing just to convey what it is i was looking for uh th that's all you have to be able to do as a writer is just get the juices flowing so he to me was like a sad clown but he had scars down his face where he had cut his own face he had cuts all over his arms uh and clearly suffering uh he had these knives that have a big hoop on it and then there's the knife and another strap and he could swing them around or something and then he was wearing this really thin white t-shirt uh almost like emo you know kind of look to it v-neck uh that was cutter now, as I started writing the script, that was way too on the nose. I mean, I want to be on the nose, but not that much on the nose. So I changed his name to Carver. Um, and uh, yeah, we'll move on here because Nacho, let me get the, here we go, right here. Nacho said, hey, I like the idea of this guy, the concept. I have some changes to make. And so he did this character design. He liked the jacket. And also you can see he's still wearing the deadliner pants. This is a deadliner jacket, but you can see he's kind of gone rogue. And that is essentially the point. He's crazy. Uh, and then he also changed his knives. They're not quite as large and in charge, but they are on chains. I'll be honest, the chains didn't make it to the book uh, because I don't think it mattered as much. The, what mattered more was the blades. So interesting. All right. So now when it comes to this cover, uh, Nacho does these covers after he finishes the artwork uh, for the trade. So we'll, we'll do the crowdfunded version, which will have several chapters worth in it. And then when he's finished, I say, hey, let's get you to do some covers so that we have them all set to go for the alternate publications. And so in this case, here you go. Here's Carver and... Uh, his concept was Carver holding a knife up and then you have Joanne's reflection in the front here and, uh, Joe, there, there we go. That, this is how it turned out, uh, which turned out really cool. I gotta say, I think this is one of my favorite covers 
from the Alterna series. It's just intimate and intimidation at the same time. I love it. Turned out so well. Uh, so that's kind of the birth of Carver. Now, Carver has been a really fun character to write since then, like actually putting Petzl to paper, so to speak, and uh, writing him as a character. It's been really fun to get to know him and realize a little bit more about him and add him more into the story. And I got to say, he's he, this is a, a turning point for me as a writer. This villain has so much depth and intrigue to him. In the next Downcast book, there's going to be even more with him. And I'm really excited about it because I want to finish his story arc. Uh, and he is headed to an interesting place. So, uh, yeah, check that out. It's not... Uh, this will be launching a crowdfunding campaign. I think the pre-launch page is opening up soon through Alterna Comics. Um, very soon. But, uh, or it's open now. It could be open now. Uh, apologies. I'll promote it more when it comes out and it's all official. Uh, but yeah, fun character, fun how to create it. And yeah, I'm going to be doing more villains in this vein that have more of a backstory, more that you can kind of get into his brain a little bit and dissect him. It's fun. Uh, anyway, let me know what you think. Do you enjoy Carver as a villain? And should I do more of these character spotlight videos? I'd love to know. And I'll see you in the next video. Oh, wait, 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 wait. If you're still here, don't forget to check out Dracula. It's on Indiegogo right now. Uh, and you can help me reach new heights. We're, we're going to promote this campaign and uh, see it grow. So thanks so much for your support. And now I'll see you in the next video.